there. Um, so I decided I want to do some mold wine. I feel like mold wine today. I have this house Merlot by Saint Boris. For only a little bit. <sighs> yeah. Oh, a mellow, medium body red wine packed with juicy fruit flavors. Just like a house red. You don't need any fancy wine because you're gonna change the taste of it anyway by with all this spices. And I never tried this one before, but I just saw that in Saint Louis as well. Uh, mulling spices, aromatic and warm. So we have dried orange here. I have fresh oranges as well, but anyway, and then you have Amish star. I have my own stars as well, but I think I'm just gonna use this one. I'm not a really big fan of those because they they have a really strong taste. So I'm just gonna use this one because I can see it's only one here, so one is enough. Then you have a big cinnamon stick here. I have some of mine, all my own. Is this? I see that it's cardamom pods. I'm not sure about that, but I really hate cardamom, so. I might take some out and then you see those are dried cranberries. I have as well um, brown sugar, which is really good for uh, spiced um, mold wine. I have the rest of um, honey. This one is with lavender, so I'm just gonna use what's left here just for a little extra. I did buy uh, mulling spices. I guess. Yes, I will add to that because usually I use allspice and my cloves. I will add cloves because I can see there's no cloves here. No, there is. There is some. So, okay. Never mind. I can see there is some cloves here. I like a lot of cloves actually in the wine. I saw only a few here, maybe like a couple, three or four. Uh, so probably I'm going to add some more because it's for a whole bottle of wine. So we probably need a little bit more. I'm gonna try this spice instead of all spice today and I always add some fresh oranges and then half a squeezed oranges in a one bottle and I'll try some cherries I have some cherries and then we'll see how it goes all right let's start we need to put our heat I'll probably put it for like half just three out of six on mine and then, let me just open this. I'm not gonna drink the whole thing, but if you cover it and put it in the fridge, you can reheat it next day. I love mulled wine. It's one of my favorite um, Christmas and winter drinks. I always have it um, if we go to some winter markets. Or, um, okay, I managed to open that, but I smelled it. it, smells really nice, except the cardamom seeds. So, I think I'm gonna take them out and then come back to you. But in the meantime, I can put my oranges in there. I will leave um, one for decoration in my cup. I'm using uh, this really cool, like a jar mug, Kilner's. Sorry, there's some water. I was washing it. Um, they were really cheap. I think I had them, I found them in pound shop maybe? Or TK Maxx. Because Kilner's quite expensive and they were not that bad. I have them for years now and they're super cool for mulled wine. So we're gonna use those. Okay, so this, make sure this is on really low heat. You don't want to boil it because all the alcohol is going to evaporate and it's not going to be that nice, right? <laughs> I'm going to add some cloves as well. Actually, no, I'm going to remove those uh, cardamom seeds in the meantime and I'll come back to you. Okay, I kind of divided them. Look how many in one little bag. I think it's way too many. Um, I'm going to put this one in. So that is already looking so nice. And we have a dried orange and we have a cinnamon stick. This is looking so beautiful. I think those are cardamom seeds as well, but like in a shell. So I'm just gonna leave them, but I'm gonna give it a go. 
I'm sure this one is the old spice, the round ones, then dried cranberries, cloves, and the rest of cardamom. That's all I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to put this in and add my honey, oh, my sugar. Brown sugar is the best for mulled wine. It gives this smoky flavor. And then I'm going to... Um, heat it up for a while, mix it every now and then and maybe add some cherries. I will taste it first um, and if I like it I'll probably leave the cherries out, it's just optional. I might add another cinnamon stick because I really love cinnamon sticks. So another Christmas project, we're gonna be making um advent calendar. Yes I know it's super late. <laughs> this video is probably gonna be third one on the channel uh, vlogmas I'm so sorry but I'm actually late with this as well so it's already December here <laughs> it's not like I made that before um, this is just like a fun project which I never have done before I always wanted to try and do some advent calendar for my husband uh, obviously I'm not gonna do it for myself so <laughs> might as well do it for him just for fun I've ordered a um, few bits, but first I'm gonna show you the, the idea. So basically I just have like this stick from the park. I think I'm gonna hang it this way on the wall. And then with the raffia uh, string, I'm gonna hang um, the little Christmas houses. So I have two um, sizes. Originally I ordered this one, but then I realized you cannot put much in that and some of the items I have which are quite like bigger like for example this how cool is this um, Mary Fizmas buff fizzler <laughs> it's like a gold cookie for you for the buff he loves to take buffs so it's what why not so obviously this is not gonna fit in here that's why I ordered bigger ones bigger houses so it's gonna be quite a nice mixture of like the smaller ones and the bigger ones they're really cute I think they actually all different they look a little bit the same but they are all different sorry I need to do something with this camera anyway so basically you put your gift here and then you close the box put the raffia through those holes and hang I'm gonna add uh, some tags. I bought really cute tags with like a laser cutout Christmas design. This is with reindeers. I think they all were the reindeers. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, I think they all were the reindeers. And this really nice Christmas Eve, like um, red and white um, little rope. So I don't have all the gifts yet. I'm just gonna hang what I have and then in the meantime keep refilling. So I really am lacking of ideas. Um, I had a few, but then then I had these little boxes, so I was looking for something really, really small, then I decided to get this bigger one, so maybe now it's going to be a little bit different, better. Um, so I can show you a few, what I have. He loves beer, and this is like a really cool beer crate bottle opener. Mm, it <laughs> looks so cool, it's like old. We have those in Hungary, those crates of beer you can buy in a shop, they really remind me of that place and then you can just open it it's like a little thing and to each um uh, house with a gift i'm gonna add some chocolate maybe this nice big ones i'm gonna add with something small like for example the lip balm um and then with like bigger ones small chocolates i have these chocolate eggs i don't know why they make those for christmas it's more like easter isn't it and then very traditional for England coins. <laughs> those are chocolates. How fun are those? This is 10 cents and then there are bigger ones, like two pounds. <laughs> so much fun. And then I have Lindor little eggs as well. So that's fun. Um, so that was the first one. I have some key finder actually really good connects to your phone and then you, you never lose your keys which is quite typical for my husband and this one and this one I got in Sainsbury's in this like Christmas fun section 
Then I got him uh, crocolites, you know, for the shoes. <laughs> Hello. There it is. Wait, can I do it with one hand? So basically, you put them on your shoes. I think you need to like do the battery and properly. I just need to unscrew it later. So <laughs> you attach them here inside the crocs and those are perfect for Hungary. In our garden it's quite dark at the back so he can go and get some wood in the, in the night for the fire or something with those. He doesn't have to have his phone in his hand, which is quite useful. He just grabs the wood with the hands and come back home in the night. So that's really nice. I think that was really cool. Another funny one. Unfortunately, he saw this one already because I ordered from Amazon and then didn't, didn't realize he's on the same Amazon so he can see the emails. This is like a um, jacket for beer can, so it keeps it cool. <laughs> this is so fun. So that, and I got him like natural uh, deodorant for, from Bulldog. Oh my God, this camera is driving me mad. Um, vetiver and black pepper it smells really nice actually and I really love natural deodorants because they don't have this oldest um, chemicals that block your pores and causes really bad diseases especially in women but in men actually as well um, love those socks the green chometer meter sorry <laughs> that's that and I think they are yeah to the same and then in another one I'll put this one. It's just Grinch everywhere. He's a little bit of Grinch. He told me off that I put Christmas tree uh, quite early in December. But it's already December and look how nice it looks. It's silver and blue. You saw it in my previous videos. Then I've got some... I'm not sure if he's gonna use that. He's very not like the face cream or any beauty products guy. He just uses soap. <laughs> That's it. Typical man. Uh, so maybe I can convince him to put those. Maybe. And then I found this Laurel Man Expert face mask. That's really cool. I never saw anything like that before. Um, and this is like... Oh, it says even extra large size for men. Like men have bigger faces, apparently. Which I don't think is true, but okay. Uh, and this looks like really fun. It's like the jelly one. So I'm gonna do that with chocolates. What else? Yeah, I think that's it for now. And obviously, yeah, the bath fizzler. I need to get some more things, probably around another 12 or or, or 14. I got these lights. They're like um, a Christmas snowflake lights. So I'm going to put it around that stick and then see how it goes. I got some of the uh, hanging, like just to maybe put a rope around this and attach to the stake and hang it on the wall. So let's see, let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna put the big ones in those boxes and then number them, make some... Oh wait, how I'm gonna put presents in the, the rest? I'll have to figure something out. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I covered the mold one. Oh no, it's boiling. I need to put it on one. It's a little bit too hot. I'm gonna mix it. Yeah, you see, I just left for a second. And I've added the, the bag with spices. Just for some taste. I'm gonna try it now. And then let you guys know. Okay, that is ready. I've added some um, honey because I forgot last time and I'm just gonna uh, blur it here. I don't really like too many bits in my uh, mug so I'm just gonna sieve it a little bit and then just put the orange and maybe the cinnamon stick in the, in the glass. And then put the rest of the spices back so they can the rest can be a, a bit more aromatic in the next one. I like when it like, cools a little bit first. I mean, not too much because obviously the wine must be hot. But then you can taste it better. How lovely with all this cream. Back in. So 
can brew. I'm gonna cover it and obviously um, take the turn of the heat. So this will be still hot. And that one. Grab that cinnamon stick. Oh, it expanded quite a bit, so maybe I can break it. No, it's fine. nice and easy recipe all the mess but I'm drinking the old wine <laughs> okay let's start maybe I'm gonna roll this. Hi! <laughs> mm, I was thinking number one can be these. This fits in here and we can add one kind of well. So that's gonna be number one. make your advent calendar I'm not actually late you can do 12 days till Christmas starting on the 12th until the 24th just perfect because then we need to buy more presents and I actually think 12 is gonna look nice on that stick 24 is probably too much anyway so yeah I'm so happy I just have one more gift in my class so I need to bring that but yeah it's gonna be so cool yeah we're gonna do 12 but then if I put it on the wall it's not gonna wait Wait a second, I'm gonna bring the last gift. Last gift. I think it's quite good. PlayStation card for 20 pounds, so you can buy a game if you want to. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, I need to get a marker and mark the last gift. Anyway, I'll pack all this and then come back to you when it's done, and we're gonna be hanging it. I'm 
Number 12 is done. Number 11 is done. I'm gluing the um, insides. I actually found paper glue, like a normal stick. It's much better this way, I think. So I'm gluing those, then I'm adding the youth string. My village. I think it's so beautiful. It's so nice. I will be hanging them soon. And then I'll show you how it looks like. the slides and I've run out of batteries, the double A batteries, but I have triple A, so I just put some aluminum foil on the negative um, to fill the gap, and guess what? Works! <laughs> so it's a tip if you don't have double A's at home, but I have triple A. It's done. Not exactly the I wanted to add like a green branch here, but I forgot to buy it. I don't think I have any in the garden, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It's like a messy village. Uh, I, I think it's 